Okay, so if you have a parabola, if someone actually gives you a parabola, we've already talked about the fact that it sort of has this, this point where it's either going to be a minimum in this case, this vertex will either be a minimum if it's a happy face parabola, or if it's a sad face parabola, we're going to have a maximum. And the question is, how can you actually find, first of all, that maximum value in this case, and then where that maximum value actually is taken on for what x value? Similarly, if you've got a minimum, what is that minimum value and where does it happen? So that really is asking nothing more and nothing less than asking, where is that vertex point? So if you want to find that vertex point, that vertex point will always be either the maximum or the minimum value of the parabola, depending upon whether it's a happy face parabola or a sad face parabola. You see, in this case, if this is, let's say, uh, h and this is k, see, the vertex is going to happen, in this case, if it's a happy face parabola, it's going to give us a minimum value, a minimum value. And that minimum value is the y value. That will be k. And where that minimum value happens, where that occurs, is going to be h. Now, conversely, if it's a sad-faced parabola, suppose it looks like this, well, then it, we have a maximum, and that maximum will be at the vertex. And that maximum height, the actual height, the maximum value of this, is going to be at k. And the location where that happens is actually going to be at h. So when someone says, find the maximum or minimum of a particular parabola, all you've got to do is find the vertex and determine whether it's a happy face or a sad face parabola. So let me try a couple of examples to really illustrate this point. Suppose we're given the following, f of x equals 2x squared plus 3x plus 1. Okay. Well, now what I want to do is first of all determine, does this have a maximum or a minimum? Let's think about it. Is this a happy face parabola or a sad face? Well, this is a positive coefficient. So in fact, it's going to be a happy face parabola. If it's a happy face parabola, it will have a minimum. So this has a minimum. Right? You may say, oh, it's positive, therefore it's max. No, 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 no. Since it's positive, it goes down and then up. It's happy face, and so we have a minimum there. Now, where's the minimum, and what's the value of it? Well, that's going to be exactly at the vertex. So let's find the vertex. So to find the vertex, we know h is going to be negative b over 2a, and k is just going to be f evaluated at that point. And so what do we have here? So h is going to be negative b, that's going to be negative 3, all over 2a, that's going to be 4. So we see minus 3 fourths. And now what's k? Well, what I have to do here is now plug in minus 3 fourths into here. So I have to do a little calculation. So we have 2 times minus 3 fourths squared, which is a 9 over 16. And then I add 3 times minus 3 fourths, which will be a minus 9 fourths and then I have a plus 1. So what does that equal? Well, there's a little cancellation I can do here. This 2 cancels with this and makes that an 8. And so now I have 9 eighths, and then I have to add minus 9 fourths. So well, minus 9 fourths is just minus 18 eighths, and minus 18 eighths and 9 eighths is just going to be minus 9 eighths. So this is going to equal minus 9 eighths, and then I have a plus 1, and 1 is 8 over 8, and 8 over 8, and minus 9 over 8 is minus 1 over 8. So the vertex is going to be at minus 3 fourths, comma, minus 1 eighth. That's the vertex. So first of all, what is the minimum value of the associated um, parabola? The minimum value is this y value, the minus an eighth. That's as low as it's going to go. And where does that happen? What's the location where that takes place? At minus 3 fourths. Okay? So if you think about it visually, what I see here is the following. I see that at minus 3 fourths, that's right here, and minus an eighth right here, that's where that minimum is. So the lowest value is minus an eighth, that's the y value, and the location of it is at minus 3 fourths. There's a min there. Okay, let's try another example. How about f of x equals minus x squared plus 4x plus 1? 
Okay, well first of all, will this have a max or a min? Well, I see a negative coefficient in front of the x squared, so this means this is a sad, sad face parabola, so this will actually have a maximum. And where's that maximum? So this has a max, and that maximum is going to be located right at the vertex, so I have to find the vertex. So first I'm going to find h, so that's negative b, so that's going to be minus 4, all over 2a, so that's negative 2. And so that gives me a net gain of 2. And then what's k, the y-coordinate? That'll be f of 2. And so what's f of 2? Well, I'm going to plug in 2 here. And I'm going to see, therefore, a 2 squared, which is 4. So I see a minus 4. And then I see a plus 8. And then a plus 1. So this gives me a plus 4, and 1 is 5. So the vertex is going to be at 2 comma 5. So therefore, does that mean the maximum is equal to 2? Is the maximum 2? Is the highest this curve actually gets equal to 2? No. No. The highest it gets is 5. That's the y value. So the maximum value, the max value equals 5. And where does that happen? It happens at x equals 2. Okay? So if someone says, what is the maximum value, the answer is 5. If someone says, where does this function attain its maximum value, the answer is x equals 2. Graphically, what's going on? Well, we have a, a sad face parabola, and its vertex is at 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there's the vertex, there's the, the max, and there you can see exactly what's happening. The highest point value is 5, and it's attained at x equals 2. So you can actually now find the max or the min of a parabola, depending if it's a happy face or sad face, by just finding the vertex and then reading off the result. Try these.